Dave Daly right here on the Muskegon Channel. I'm Andy O'Reilly. There's Dave Cackley. Last night, I came to a um, uh, an epiphany, if you will. Oh, good. Yeah. I like epiphanies. Uh, epiphanies are great, right? So we're watching the Tigers game, and they repeatedly show this Taco Bell commercial over and over and over again. Which one is that? I think I know what you're talking about, but which one? Um, Some new menu. Um, you can get everything on the menu for two two fifty or three okay. bucks or whatever, you know. And it's got this girl in it, and she's like, "Not only can I eat all this, I can do what I love and save money because look at all this Taco Bell stuff." And every time that commercial came up, I looked at every item of food on the screen, mm-hmm. and I thought I must have lived right because everything on that screen, if I were to consume it is the risk of hospitalization due to gastric distress. <laughs> Every single thing on that screen. So when they tell you to live life uh, to the fullest <laughs> and you can no longer eat things that are on TV that look appealing because your stomach is shot, because you did, in uh, fact, live life to the fullest quite a few years ago. <laughs> uh, you put the pedal to the metal at starting Woo! at age 12, dude. <laughs> Most of us started a little later on in our. Uh, I'm looking at this imbibing. commercial, thinking to myself, I would be sick for a week if mm-hmm. I ate that. I and it's not that it didn't look good, right? No, it's you know I I I'd snarf a couple of tacos with that fire oh, sauce no on it. Don't get me it's wrong, solid. but Taco Bell is is solid shitty food. It really is. It's and uh, with all the inflation, with, with, with how much everything costs now, it's still relatively cheap in comparison. It really, it really is. I, but it's still. But you just, it just sits in your gut, and it you feel gross, I, and it tastes I good going in. It's just. Ugh. I literally sat there age. thinking to myself. I can feel my stomach go. No, mm-hmm. oh, don't touch that. It's bad. Bad, bad, bad. So shame on Andy for destroying his stomach at some point. When it's all good, all right. you know you you do you know you 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 do crazy things when you can. It, it all catches up to you. Well, all the stuff that you do, I, good and bad. I you do know, look it, back. I do look back to the olden days when, you know, two o'clock would come and they'd throw us out of a bar and we'd be mm-hmm. off the subway to pick up a yeah. foot long meatball sub with everything on it, right down the subway. You know. Oh yeah, I need those, 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 everything. And you had to soak up. Up, you had to soak up all those seven and sevens, man. Boy. Woo. <laughs> We'd go to Steak and Shake. Steak Would and it? Shake back in the day, first of all, it's still pretty good now. Yeah. But it was that was the best because you go in and it was open 24 hours. Yep. And you had a, a a sassy kind of flow from Alice type of server. And, uh, you know, you had to soak up uh, for me back then. It was, okay. I was occasionally, it was rum and Cokes or it was Corona Zima. or it was Coors Light. No, Zima. What the hell? Bartles and James. Bartles and James. Bartles mm-hmm. and James when I was 21, actually a little, I went through a very, very short Bartles and James phase. Cause I liked those guys and, and they were tasty. Yeah. Those things went down rim. Those, you were basically pop. drinking fruit punch. Yeah. Alka you know, pop, they call it. Good Lord. Those were the days. Those were the days. Oh, All right. God. So we are uh, about to embark upon a newscast, unless you mm-hmm. have anything to add to today's conversation. No, no, I'm still, uh, I'm still uh, physically recovering. Yeah, from we're living the, on uh, a mano y mano To find uh, out what happened with, with Dave and Max on TV. Yep. On Friday. Oh, boy. But, uh, I'll tell you yeah. what, I'm going to make a note to get up and watch that. Oh, yeah, of course you will. It's all good. <laughs> I, if I wasn't paid to be up then, I wouldn't. Hey, I'll tell you what. Um, you know, to, to watch you on TV and watch your son let you win because he knows it's going to be a, um, what a makes long you think weekend that, wait, if, you, if you do lose. Is that um, what you're thinking happened? I'm thinking he let you win, yeah. How, I, wait, wh- how do you even know I won? I don't. I don't know anything. All I'm saying is, is I'm thinking that your kid is probably being smart going, I better let the old man win or it's going to be a shitty uh, weekend. And <laughs> well, you know, I might not get a ride to McCosta where there's food and drink. Uh, I might have to sit here where there's bread and cheese. <laughs> oh, shit. That kid gets everything. There's nobody more spoiled than my son. Mm-hmm. It's ridiculous. Hey, speaking of spoiled, look what I got. What? I got a big cinnamon roll. 
Oh, oh, dude, I had a, uh, I just scarfed down a glazed donut a little mm. bit ago. Cinnamon, mm. ro cinnamon rolls and glazed donuts are awesome. Awesome. Those are the only pastries you really need. No, you need all the pastries. Well, you, you really don't. But uh, those are the two. If you're going to get, like, a box of stuff and you want something that everybody's going to like and you want those to all be consumed, you get glazed, you get cinnamon rolled, maybe throw in a chocolate. You really, I mean, it's nice for uh, for other people if you, if you want to have that other selection. But, man, it, it, nothing beats just a good glaze, good cinnamon roll, the occasional chocolate donut. It's great. I'm telling you. All right. What do you got in the news? Uh, let's do it. Still no interest rate cut. The Federal Reserve is expected to hold rates steady. The Fed has all but abandoned their initial forecast of three interest rates cut, three interest rate cuts. That is, by the end of the year, rates are at their highest uh, since 2001. Don't borrow if you don't have to. And if you there got you go. debt, pay it down. Pay there it you down. go. Got to be responsible. Here we go. Uh, there will be no Joey Chestnut in the Nathan's July 4th hot dog eating contest next month. Chestnut is banned, banned. from the event for his decision to endorse a vegan hot dog. Where over is his the freedom sponsor. to endorse Anything he wants to endure. Well, if you're, um, I feel like the man is coming down in, on Joey Chestnut. This poor, the man may very well individual. be. The the man may very well be, but yeah, if you got, it, you first of all, I, I, why would you do it? I mean, it's like first of all, vegan hot dogs. What the hell is wrong with you? And secondly, it, this is the title sponsor. Why are you messing with your meal ticket? This is your, this is your thing. I'm here to tell you. What, you're going to pretend you're eating a health food? It's like, no, it's a vegan dog. It's a piece of shit. What are you talking about? It's a vegan hot dog. It's disgusting. Hey. What? Why? Why? Well, why, let's go Joey? back to why? the gastric difficulties. If it's a vegan yeah. hot dog, it's probably made out of beans. And <laughs> if you're going to consume all those hot dogs like Joey Chestnut does, can you imagine what eating that many beans would do to a stomach over... Seriously, that I will say this: these competitors are are in, and most of them look like they're in pretty damn good shape. They're kind of medical like marvels nice. because they just they have uh, what you have to you, you have to get your body used to all this. I just can't. I don't like it. They dunk the hot dog in water, so it's that just to me. If you're gonna do a hot dog eating contest, yeah. it's got to be a little. There's no water dippings. Mm. You have, you put a little mustard on it. It's got to be. Mm. Oh, dude, that is just mm. what the hell. Mm. All the problems you used to have with me eating on the radio and you wanting to chase me out of the studio. You eat like a pig. Oh. <laughs> and you too funny. I'm glad this is a video. Mm -hmm. I'm glad I'm glad this is a video podcast. Good lord. All right. Uh Chestnut has won the event 16 times including every year since 2016. The event's just really let's be honest, it's kind of gross. It is gross to watch. And somebody always pukes at some point. So I yeah. it's just, yeah, it's, I don't, I don't get, I don't get Joey doing what he did. And I don't, I, I don't get the fascination with well, this. Well, the good but, news uh, is, is there will probably be a Golden Girls rerun on somewhere. So you can watch that. Which is good. Yeah. There's, you know, it's 4th of July, maybe that, or rewatch Band of Brothers or something. I don't yeah, know. there you go. Finally, the largest Powerball prize ever won in the state of Michigan was claimed by the Breakfast Club Lottery Club in Grand Blank on Tuesday. The $842 million prize was won back in January. Uh, this is what's interesting. You don't know how many people were in this. One, one person came forward to accept the prize yeah. on behalf of everybody else. So everybody's going to, you know. Anyway, it's it's unknown how many members are actually in that club, so you don't know how this is going to be divvied up, how many people are divvying it up. I mean, they're all they're all set obviously for life now. Clearly, um, but that's I the idea that you you have a club that just gets together and you buy lottery tickets. You probably do other stuff, but somebody's got to make a movie out of this. This seems like because there's because what's going to happen with these people? Some. A, a, a number of them are just their their life is going to go to shit. So it's gonna because people can't handle large sums of money. Mo, most of us really can't handle this. There's a certain amount that you get that like a million bucks. You throw two to five million dollars at me, I can live comfortably. I'm not going to go you know go nuts. I'm not going to my lifestyle. I'll have some nicer things, but I'm not going to be 
much different. You start throwing eight hundred million dollars at people, and you know, you're you're you know you got twenty, thirty, forty, fifty million, and you had like zero before that. Eh, it's gonna be pretty iffy. What? Oh, Jesus Christ. I dropped a piece of. Oh, what the hell you were doing? Before. So yeah, so I'm I'm done. You are you are out to lunch right now, literally. Oh, I'm you are literal or out to breakfast, whatever. <laughs> Sports. <laughs> Cubs lose. Cubs lose. Cubs lose. They uh, fall to Tampa five to two. Tigers lost to. I, where'd I write that? I know that they lost. I didn't write the score down. So that's on me. But Detroit lost in 10 innings. I believe it was 5-4. to four. Not 100% sure on that, but I think it was 5-4 to four to the Washington it was. Nationals. Yes, it was a great Washington game. Nationals. Yeah. See, I, me- I remembered that. Wow. I didn't write it down, but I didn't remember. Wow. Yeah, yeah. That's lucid thought right there. My memory is a lockbox. Look at Brain you. Brain is a lockbox. Firing on primitive. all cylinders today, yes, unlike some people who dropped I'm firing on all cylinders. I just dropped a piece of cinnamon roll on the floor. Yeah, uh-huh. You know, when I picked it up, I got a hair, too. Uh, well, there you go. We know how you love that. Uh, game three of the NBA Finals tonight. Dallas, Boston. Boston leads that series two games to none. Florida, Edmonton. Stanley Cup gets back underway Thursday. That's sports. Here comes your Jeopardy category today for a thousand dollars. It's tasty business, and this one's going to be a drubbing. I feel for you. I really do. This restaurant chain says the only ingredient it uses that's hard to pronounce is the pepper in its name. Jesus. Oh, my God. I can't believe this. Max isn't here to make me look cool. The best days are the days that I can leave you with a hanger. Oh. Congratulations. Thank you. You've had the best day. I have. I'm living the dream. <laughs> I don't know what the hell it Chipotle. is. Chipotle. Chipotle. Okay. 62,500. Woo-wee. I've been Man. Uh, here comes in, in somebody. In fairness important. to me, I'm 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 a little sore. I'm still I'm still physically uh, impaired bigger. right now. Well, at least he probably let you win. We'll find out uh, Friday. Whatever. All right, TTFN. Wednesday, Miss Gigan. Today will be warm and sunny, but we do have a chance for some thunderstorms overnight tonight. So let's take a look at your forecast brought to you by Trinity Health. Although today will be nice and warm and sunny, we do have a chance to see some rain and possibly some thunderstorms overnight tonight. And we also have a small chance tomorrow afternoon, Thursday, to see some rain and a very small chance to also see some thunderstorms in our area as well, with also some increasing temperatures as we move into early next week. And although we are even warmer next week, we are looking pretty warm today. High temperatures ranging from the lower 70s closer to the lake with that wind blowing off of the lake. Uh, And then we are in the higher 70s further from the lake and right on the lake shore in those mid to upper 60s. So every day getting a little bit warmer here. So today your high temperature will be right around 78 degrees with mostly sunny skies and winds out of the southwest around 5 to 10 miles per hour. So just a slight breeze. And tonight it will be a little bit windier from the south around 5 to 15 miles per hour. And we'll cool down to about 63 degrees with a 50% chance of seeing some overnight rain and possibly some thunderstorms as well so let's take a closer look at that here on our future radar here Wednesday around 11 p.m. we see some of that light rain possibly beginning to start and that should continue through the overnight hours into the very early hours of Thursday 
but it should clear out by Thursday morning until Thursday afternoon when we have another chance to see some rain. Now looking at our radar for Thursday around 5 p.m., we see a small blob of some rain possible over Muskegon and Ottawa County, so there is a small chance it is just a 30% chance for some rain, and otherwise we look very dry and very warm for our seven-day forecast. Tomorrow our high temperature will be around 79 degrees, but as we look at our weekend and early into next week, we creep right back into those 80 degrees and into the upper 80s as well for early next week. Saturday and Sunday will be 80 and 85 degrees with mostly sunny skies, so great weather to get out on the boat again or out to the beach. Monday will be even higher around 87 degrees and Tuesday 86 again with lots of sunshine in the forecast. That is all for your Wednesday forecast brought to you by Trinity Health for the Muskegon Channel. I'm Tegan Schultz and I hope you have a great day.